running for president of the United States, and Joe Biden's home is listed as the beneficiary address. Important pieces of context missing there. One, that that does not include any evidence that Joe Biden received any of the money. And two, that Abby Lowell, Hunter Biden's attorney, says, look, that address, his father's address, was the only permanent address he had because he was living there for some of the time. However, do you think there are questions regarding that that should be answered for transparency for the American people? No, I, I think that's a, that in particular is a, is a great example of the desperation that the Republicans have to link Joe Biden to Hunter Biden's activities. Um, the fact that Hunter Biden used his father's address as his own permanent address as he was getting divorced, uh, I think moving out of his own home in, in a bad state of affairs and had it on his driver's license, had it on many other accounts, it shows nothing, nothing at all about Joe Biden's involvement. And it's just another effort to gaslight the American public into thinking that Joe Biden had something to do with Hunter Biden's business interests. There's no evidence Joe Biden was involved whatsoever in that, that he knew about it, that he received anything of it. The fact of his address being used is not evidence of anything. And it's just another example of them misusing information and trying to, to turn it into something that it's not. Another example is all these emails and texts that we that they show from 2017, which don't indicate any involvement of Joe Biden. Um, but it's also when Joe Biden was not a president or vice president or a Department of Justice email from 2020. That was the Trump Justice Department. Mm -hmm. So it, all of these allegations just don't make any sense. The timeline makes no sense. Uh, and just the facts make no sense. And I think what, what really came out yesterday when uh, the rubber had to meet the road, when the facts and the evidence were needed, is it's just not there. And I'm very proud of the Democrats that we have on that committee because we made that very clear over and over, and especially how preposterous it is as they are barreling us to headlong into a shutdown that is of their own making by themselves.